They are forcing cuts down our throats. They're forcing changes to the way that the workplace is, is operated. And they're trying to make our people poorer than they've ever been in modern times. So our call to the trade union movement, to the Labour Party, and to every progressive politician is get behind the unions, get behind the workers, get on the picket lines, support the unions, support the strikes, and let's deliver change for our people. Let's win all of these disputes and change this country for the better. Okay, I won't keep you long. I'm sure all of you know the issues, but what we're facing here in the middle of our dispute is a move by the government and the powers that be in this country to conscript labour. That's what they're being faced with. They are, if they get their way, join any lawful dispute at the moment on transport, but it's bound to spread through the rest of the economy and the rest of society. The ability of the employer to name individual workers to cross their own picket line and go to work and run the service on a basis we don't know about, but they will be required on pain of dismissal and perhaps uh, criminal uh, charges if they won't pay fines, etc., and certainly action against the trade union themselves, uh, who would also have to name their own members to go to work, of breaking their own disputes despite having got over the hurdles uh, that we've currently got. So that is a step even further uh, across the Rubicon uh, compared to what we've got now. Because let's not forget, our union is currently in a reballot. The, re the result will come in two weeks' time on Tuesday the 15th to reballot the current dispute we're in. And we have to jump over the most significant hurdles that any so-called democratic country has at this time. So not only are we calling on Labour, the Greens, SNP, and anyone that claims to be a progressive and a democrat in this society and in this parliament to get rid of this new set of laws. We need all of the anti-trade union laws repealed. We need a bill of rights for workers and we need to rebalance the workplace and the law courts so that workers in this country have an effective voice because the hope of the workers is the trade unions. And we've seen in the last few months that the unions have got the ability to revive themselves, revive their personality and their character and assert themselves. And the reason they want to bring in more laws is because we're winning the argument. We're winning the arguments on the issues. We're winning the arguments on the values and we're getting the people of Britain behind the trade union movement who are calling not just for change in Parliament, but changing the councils, changing the mayors, changing the society and change at the workplace so that you can stand up for yourself with a powerful trade union behind you in every sector of the economy and so that we can rebalance the economy and get a square deal for our people. Now on the dispute itself, we've just come from our National Executive Committee and we've had another uh, letter from Network Rail this morning, which is stating to us that the only way that they can develop uh, a settlement to this dispute is for us to completely sell out and agree our terms and conditions being ripped to pieces. And I'm glad to say, I hope, I hope right, somebody will give me a wink in a minute, because I wasn't there, that our National Executive Committee has rejected that and has said... <laughs> certainly is. Certainly is. <laughs> I hope he strikes down the right people. But our executive committee has said this dispute will continue. The strikes are on on Saturday. They're on next week. The strikes on London Underground will be on next week in supporting our pension and our jobs and our conditions in there. The issues are the same. Whether you're in the CWU at the minute, whether you're in the RMT, ASLEF, or any of the health unions, any of the other education unions, they are forcing cuts down our throats. They're forcing changes to the way that the workplace is, is operated, and they're trying to make our people poorer than they've ever been in modern times. So our call to the trade union movement, to the Labour Party, and to every progressive politician is get behind the unions Get behind the workers, get on the picket lines, support the unions, support the strikes, and let's deliver change for our people. Let's win all of these disputes and change this country for the better. Thanks very much.